Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Pemby. This is uh, Unreal Engine 5.4. This is my Butts Row Project's scene of the first of the canonical five murders of the infamous Jack the Ripper. This is where Mary Ann Nichols was killed and I'm basically reproducing the the murder scene, you know, using mega scans and whatnot. Uh, but in order to get away with cinematic quality, um, it's just not, This my computer's just not going to cut it. So what I'm using is uh, this. Now, you might have seen it, a few of you. You can actually use lossless scaling with various applications. So I thought, thought I'd try it with this one. Let's scale. Let's uh, show you the actual scaling settings I'm using. I'm going with integer. It's uh, experimental, this. I might, there's quite a few. You can have any of them. But I've just gone with that one just to see how it performs. I'm quite happy with it. And it's set to X3, which is three times the frame rate. All right, so just take note of all the settings there. And that's how I'm running it for Unreal Engine 5. So let's take it back down there. Now, the best way to run something as complex as this, as this, as cinematic, um, is to use this one, standalone game. Um, but before we show you the result, Let's go to project settings. Now what we're going to type in here is frame rate. Oops, not that one. Frame rate. Now go down here, see where it says uh, fix, use fixed frame rate, make sure that's checked. Fixed frame rate, 20 FPS. So basically your graphics card thanking you. It hasn't got to work that hard. So come out of that. And let's press play. And what you'll find is when I enable lossless scaling, have a look at the quality of this. Just wait for it to load in. Now you can see it's a bit rough that, yeah? It's like an old time movie, which it might be more appropriate. But let's kicking lossless scaling bit of a difference there because I've limited it, it to 20 FPS the graphic card a lot of weight is taken off the graphics card you would think so anyway and the lossless scaling is doing its bit and there's no HUD elements on the screen so you're not going to really see much in the way of artifacts let's take a run up here I'm using uh, Ultra Dynamic Sky, the best asset anyone can buy on this uh, Unreal, e Unreal Engine marketplace. See what I've done here? Recreated the houses. If you look at an old photograph of Box Row before it became Derwood Street, you'll see these archways where the, the doorways are. Even got curtains in the windows. I'm going to show you some more examples with the projects I've got using lossless scaling. Just show, thought I'd show you this one to begin with. That candle there, just about staying alight. This here, turn on the flashlight. See that bit of blood there? That is where Polly Nichols was found. If you don't know anything about Jack the Ripper, but you, you know a little bit, this is a re reenactment of where she was murdered. She was found here by a man on his way to work. You claimed that he found her. Yeah, he was with the body for over eight minutes, which is a bit suspicious, if you ask me. And he gave a false name. But that's for another video. It's called Charles Lechmere. The original game the name Charles Cross. So, anyway, that's what Lost the Scaling can do with Unreal Engine. Look how smooth it is. Now, I think Jack's on his way back, so let's, uh, let's scarf it, shall we? There we go. Here we have another example. Walking through a tropical forest. As you can see, top left there, it's maintaining around about 60 frames a second. Now, one thing I've not mentioned yet is my monitor is a 60 hertz monitor. 
So, you know, basically I've halved the frame rate. Well, I've actually made the frame rate one third of the monitor's refresh rate, which is 20 FPS. Of course, if you've got a 120 hertz monitor, just do the maths. The, the lowest you, could, you may as well set it for is 40. But it also depends on whether your graphics card can handle it as well. And this is how beautiful this forest looks. This is cinematic quality at 60 frames a second. This is the Mediterranean coast, which is free for the month of July. So get it now if you haven't done all already. It's just an absolutely brilliant, beautiful map pack. You know, this is what you want, 60 frames a second. It's cinematic quality. Courtesy of lossless scaling. Let's have a run. Let's try and run through the, the coast is right down here somewhere. I mean, you could add all sorts to this. You could have houses, you could add dinosaurs. I've got several dinosaurs I could put on. I could make this like a Jurassic World kind of environment. I very well may do that. And, uh, you know, what I want to see though is something that shows me in a way, only a way only I can understand how to make a proper decent cinematic you know because i haven't a clue <laughs> all i can do is things like this I, if you've not considered using lossless scaling before I'm, I'm sure after watching this you probably will do anyway let's have a, another look at something some other map pack i've got and see what it looks like with lossless scaling
Thank mm-hmm. you.